Based deluge. The reactionary leftism of Gill's deluge. Quote, one could write an ebook called Based Deluge, simply cataloging and explaining all of his many neo-reactionary affirmations. Review by Joel Faulkner, one star. This book is full of words. Review, one, two stars by Itai Farhi. This book performs a neat trick of immunizing itself in advance to critiques from people like me through an almost hypnotic repetition of affectively loaded signifiers. The central continuum of Murphy's worldview seemed to be stretched between the poles of based and retarded. As a result, this touching attempt to achieve imperceptibility from resentful jerks and haters, the book is best approached as a sign of the poverty of contemporary religious appropriations of left-wing thought. Murphy's Deleuze is a Christian, though not one of the most not one of those boring rationalists, read Aquinas, who think that God is involved in the process of intellection. His, quote, Deleuze is a theophantic mystic whose traditionalist Roman God is best approached through affect. In keeping with Murphy's injunction that we be fascist over ourselves, he is adamant that Deleuze's ethics of escape, far from licensing in, quote, anything goes, unquote, Approach instead amount to strict discipline over oneself, a reading of the BWO as a body without masturbatory orgasms. One is reminded of Reich's, Wilhelm Reich's cartoons in Listen, Little Man. Murphy connects Deleuze to Peterson's work on latent inhibition, though unfortunately the affinity between the two is rather superficial. Both are scared of the hidden authoritarianism of social justice. The most despicable aspect of the book is Murphy's fixation on the inferiority of Guattari and his misreading of the intellectual context in which Deleuze was writing. We are told that Guattari, who of course was, quote, retarded, was a purposeful home wrecker, which he saw as not only defensible but righteous, and treated to the insinuation that Deleuze's collaboration with Guattari was a pedagogical sponsorship by Deleuze, an experiment in tutelage based on political ethic of Christian charity. Aside from the politically motivated slander, Guattari was a Trotskyist, this image of Deleuze ignores his political engagement with autonomous thought. For example, his involvement in saving Negri from the Italian state, and his appreciative relationship with thinkers like Foucault that Murphy rejects. The conception of the virtual as a contact with the continuous deep time of tradition is based less on the data of reality and more on fantasy. So much for the objections. One promising point in the book is his reading of coldness and cruelty, where Murphy opposes sadistic institutions to masochistic contracts, arguing for a pronomian leftism that is a submission to the data of reality in service of liberation. The return to conceptual jurisprudence opens a path beyond the habitual criteria of praxis. Quote, is it worth it? Unquote. One wonders if the cost of asceticism is necessary, or rather a contingency of the particularly Christian form of jurisprudence Murphy has in mind. The discussion of Deleuze's family is surprising, as is the catalog of Deleuze's disgusted aristocratic reactions, which Murphy dutifully reminds us are often associated with conservative attitudes. The picture of Deleuze as an elitist, whether or not we then endorse this elitism, as Murphy would suggest, rings true, and fits with the interpretive strategy pursued by Badiou and Halward. In a twist that is sure to surprise those for whom the outside is the domain of science, Murphy finds an essay where Deleuze instead sees it as a kind of extimant interiority. This is, a potentially, this is potentially fruitful as it opens the w question of how an intuitive mystical outside and a scientific outside can coexist. Interestingly, Murphy notes a parallel between his attack on the false interiority of Catholic rationalism and his opposition to the false Sartre Sartrean distinction between apathetic complicity and activist commitment, though it is less clear whether a political analogy to mystical interiority makes sense.